Okay, you know, normally I will wait at the post office, which is across the street. Um, I was going to catch that bus, but that's the whole reason I left the transit is because I didn't, you know, like, I, anyhow, I'm taking that one. I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the same one that comes out by. I'm catching it. Right now it's 845. I'll be catching it in about 15, nope, 20, 25 minutes. When I set my alarm, I had 26 minutes and that's been a little bit ago. Um, trying to get this to sit here. So it was like I got downtown at like seventeen after eight. And I walked over here. So that's gives you an idea of how long I've been over here. Walmart was out of money, so I didn't get to cash my stimulus check. So I ended up just having Subway. I stole a pair of shorts. I don't think I've ever owned one. Well, yeah, I'm sure I have. I don't know that um I caught this one place. I think my math is wrong. I caught a check cashing place on Arlington. <laughs> I talked about this in another video. Every time I do percentages or I'm dealing with percentages, I have to teach myself how to do a percentage equation over again. Because the government completely erases it from my memory. Um so you know Walmart's fee is like four dollars per thousand, I think. So fourteen hundred would be eight dollars to cash. Um, fourteen dollars would be eight to cash. Something's happening. this place and it was like I talked to her they were about to close I was asking her what time they opened in the morning and she said nine and I said well how much do you charge to cash a check she said well if the check can be verified we charge three percent and I was like okay I'll do the math she was like yeah like I was like she said yeah as long as it can be verified again and then I was like it's a stimulus check and she was like oh okay yeah so yeah. she said I think we charge like 3%. And I was like, okay. I got off the phone and I started working the equation. And I'm like, $42 to cash a $1,400 check? Like, when they're ripping their mouths out. Like, if that math is right. And I haven't, I didn't give it a lot of time. I didn't like work it, get the number, and then rework it to check the number so I don't know if it's right So, um, you saw what happens at the post office. There's been quite a bit of traffic riding through there. Um, 
but no one's closing in on me. Like, they even had a couple of guys walk by on this side of the street, but no one, you know, closed me because it would be odd. I'm kind of tucked off where, you know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> look, my coordination is off. so bad every day it's not even funny oh. the light is kind of distracting folks too it's distracting the agent or repelling sometimes a Distraction repels. There's a guy who just came out the building. He said, I walked this way for a while. Is he about to take off? We're going in the front. This is what's going on. I'm so tired. This is this was my second night with no sleep. So I fought to get like a couple of hours during the day. Like I was up when my when the mail guy delivered the check. It's just been so chaotic with the scientific attacks. It's been so 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 chaotic. And I'm not getting um, a whole lot done other than what I need to get done. Um, what happened was they saw me evaluating how much I had to do. Um, or how much I plan to do. Because I really don't have to do anything else. Um, It was over but my internet is back working <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this I'm probably really just I'm tired I'm trying to think it out um, and I'm thinking about other things at the same time they orchestrated a really nasty during the day a really nasty sexual dream with one of the guys that lives on the street I was so disturbed and tired that I couldn't even react. And so ever since then, they've been like threatening me behind it. Um, because they want me to This is what's happening. I don't know if I'm going to put this on the internet or not. Like, I really was just recording to keep people away from me. To keep the government from showing up in one of their favorite little low identities. And, you know, that was the bus driver, I think. They just went by headed towards the sisters. That lives across the street. Anyhow, I think I'm not sure. I got my glasses on, but it looked like a resemble his vehicle. Um, so here's what's going on. I don't know if I'm going to put this on the internet. And that's the thing. Sometimes a video like this turns into something that I never planned on it being because of the amount of details that I've disclosed in it. So. You know, I have. annotation 
of the curses that were being applied to invert the identities on the street that I live on. I've watched them make all the changes to these identities. As they attack me with science to do it. And then they, the, you know, on top of that, they decided that they were going to click up and um, just kind of lie about it all. You know, they haven't watched anything. They haven't read anything. And they have a story that they've been kind of sticking to secretly and quietly amongst themselves on Upland Avenue. Occasionally, they tell an outsider, wait till you see what their outsiders have to say. about the lives they've been telling about me. So, now that my, I'm no, no longer operating under the legal name Victoria and I'm back operating under my birth name, Tequila, you know, um, I don't, it's kind of like least effort in a way. Um, Whereas I have to, I don't know, um, in order to chastise the attitude that I didn't like in the past, you know, um, whereas I might have to get a little, you know, involved under the name Victoria, you know, and have an occasional confrontation. This is all shit, like I told you before, it never happened ever in my life under my name tequila the devil never tried me and so now that i'm back operating under that name and you know that i'm on the radar of the systems you know they're like we can't do these things anymore and you know she has a track record of thinking a thought and chest you know the identities being chastised behind it so they're like either we're gonna have to stay out of her sight or you know like you they know that they can't, you know, um, when you go, when if you get bad with her, like, you can't, if something goes wrong, or you um, try her in any way, there's no way that you can fix it ever. So these are all the things that the government knows. You can't recover from something, uh, um, anything with it. I keep hearing the sound of a truck, and there's a guy walking up the street at the same time. So, they're like, yeah, what are we going to do? And so, after that filthy dream, they were kind of making demands. They're like, we want you to leave. Let such and such stay in the vibrational frequency that they're in. And that's been the case for a while. You know, we've been making those kind of things about different households regarding the changes that they made to them and what they don't want to um, lose. So they've, they've been improving relationships. They've been improving material um, things, you know, just they're attracting all those things, those desires that they wanted that they couldn't otherwise. And those, like I said before, those identities represent world problems but they also represent businesses and corporations you know it is their one or two you know in in agents timeline so they see them as valuable and if they have to revert them the more they lose the more territory they lose across the globe I say hell no nah, bitch some other shit fuck you devil and some other shit <laughs> and so I mean yeah it was a lot of they were threatening me and I was threatening them because like I said I don't have to do nothing else and I really don't much give a fuck I'm just really to get out of this situation like I'm tired of being tortured um, but as I said before, I really do want to kill 10 or 12 instead of two. Like, and ultimately, um, 
until I get my pistol in my hand. It's really not up to me. It's depending on, it depends on whether or not they're going to try me. But they know the outcome. So it's like, the shit is going to hit the fan either way. And they're, you, you, you know how that goes. You know exactly how that goes. I don't think I have to explain that. Anyhow, um, They've been lying. They've been keeping me up to lie. They've been suggesting that situations were remedied that were not. They've been acting like situations were responded to correctly and they were not. 